Your number one source, source for the hottest music, 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 music in the city. What's up, world? My name is Rick Rogers, the hit maker, producer, video director, graphic designer, engineer, you know, just all around talented guy. Um, co owner of Chop Shop Studios, along with my partner Abstract. And um, over the last two years, since starting the Chop Shop, shit has really got out of hand. Um, I really don't even know where to start, but um, you know, the main thing I've been getting from my fans and from the artists that we record is, you know, what's up with the Chop Shop closing. You know, it's not really considered closing. You know, we just shutting it down for a little bit, just just for a little bit. Only a month. It might last two weeks. I don't know yet. It depends on how well, like, or how quick we get everything organized. And you know. That's one of the main reasons we are closing it down, to restructure the entire business and everything that has to do with the business, including prices and timing and, and you know, setting the respect for the house and, you know, all, everything else. Because when we first started the studio, it wasn't intentionally to be one of the hottest studios in the Seven Cities. It was more of a... You know, young cats like to smoke, like to drink, like to have fun, whatever. So, you know, we use our talent to make the money. But, you know, over the course of the years, niggas grow up, niggas have kids, and then, you know, so life becomes a little bit more serious. And, um, I don't know, I feel like what we do to your music is very necessary to your career and how a fan reacts to your music and how air catching it actually is and I feel like we have a extremely big part to that now with that being said only reason things are changing is because you know it's obvious that people don't appreciate it and um you know I guess in this business we can't expect people to be nice about nothing that's how you gotta be so I can't even judge nobody for it because, you know, I've had to turn myself into a mean motherfucker, and I'm not a mean person. But it is what it is now, because that's just how I got to be. Like, nobody else care about nobody, so ain't no need for us to care. It's a business. We have the studio. You need your music. You want it to sound right. You come here, you pay us, and we deliver. And that's just how it's going to be, but, you know... There's going to be a lot of good new things introduced into the studio, you know. Main thing will be closed sessions. All that walking up to the crib and all that shit, that shit is a wrap. Now, I mean, you walk up to this motherfucker after we've reopened this motherfucker without talking to nobody, you're just going to have to turn around. And, um, you know, uh, we're actually enforcing the time limit thing because we've basically been doing it $25 a song and not 25 a track why because we care so much and we understand that um you know you can't do a song in in in, in an hour and for some reason you couldn't write four bars to your song so you want to take that time to write the blah 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 Fuck all that shit. That shit is whack. That shit is weak. Cause niggas don't appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit weak. Um, so that shit is a rap. No, no more of that writing shit. If you gonna write, you pay for an hour to write. Or if you gonna write the song in 30 minutes and record it in 30. Blah blah blah. You know, cool. Um, one of the main things that will not happen anymore is the chops will not come with. You know what I mean? Like I said, this shit is not a game. We take it very serious. We are trying to get somewhere with our music. Um, what other areas? Um, turnaround times on videos and graphics and everything. Like, I try to be carrying and shit, so I tell a nigga when I shoot the video, it'll be done in two days, blah, blah. But that, that's my fault. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit actually do take time. I can do it fast, but I don't like doing it fast. I like to take my time on shit so I get shit done right. 
So yeah, turnaround times will be different. Or if you do want the two day turnaround time or the one day or the same day, pay for that shit. Cause I push a lot of shit to the side to do certain shit. Um another thing about the studio time, it will be twenty-five dollars an hour with a two hour minimum. No more than twenty-five dollars. If you come in, you come to spend at least spend at least fifty. At least spend fifty. Fifty dollars worth the time. Twenty five dollars is not worth the time. Cause I can go to my nine to five and make that. So, you know, it gotta be worth it. Um, another thing that I want to come through the chop shop is I want to establish this Virginia unity thing because. I think everybody get it confused when when people say we're not unified. Hold on, give me one second. I'll be right back. I'll get my lighter. Oh, what you know? Hey, you got some matches. Like I said, I think people get confused when people say Virginia's not unified, and I'm thinking people probably thinking that we need to start a big label or something like that. It ain't even nowhere near none of that stupid shit. Um, it's just the point that don't nobody out here fuck with nobody, and that shit is sick to me. Yeah, that's that's why our shows don't look good. That's why mixtapes don't do numbers. That shit is crazy to me. Like, I've worked on so many people's albums and mixtapes and videos and CD covers, and I can't get one of y'all motherfuckers to share nothing that I share on the internet. So, what I'm doing for that is I created a Chop Shop Studios music YouTube page. So regardless of how any of y'all, you know, dislike a person, you will be in the same vicinity as that person. Because it's not about you, it's about the whole state of Virginia. I mean, we have major artists telling us that the reason they don't fuck with us is because we don't fuck with each other. So that's like, ding, ding. You know, they looking, they know who we are, but what's the point? And... You know, that's that. I want to help that. I want to change that. I feel like since so many people deal with me, then I could be the one that helped bring everything together. At least I want to go down to history for doing that. Because once we do that, guys, we're all going to be rich. Balling like a bitch. Getting to that money. Doing them shows like 50,000, 40,000 people at a show just for you. I know y'all want that. So we, we, we got to get it in order. And, um... You know, on some more personal type shit. To everybody who feel a certain type way about me, I do apologize. You know, it's it's no, it's no hard feelings. It's like it ain't even no excuses. It's just hard to explain the shit because of what I, because of what I go through and, and what my days consist of. Like I tell a nigga, yo, I'm about to email you this beat, and then something happened and I can't get to it, then I forget about it because I gotta do the video, and then. After the video, I gotta go shoot another video. Then I got a session. Then I gotta go to work. Then my son waking up and and all this shit. Like, you know, I never intended it to be like this. Like, as busy as it is, and you know, on behalf of my defense, you know what I'm saying. I don't feel like nobody really understand how busy I really am. Like, niggas feel like I'm shitting on them because I don't answer my phone for them and I don't have time to do this for them and shit. Like. It's not even intentional, man. It's like, I look at it like this. It's the only way I can make it make sense. It's like, for your career, I'm the only person you come to. Like, you know what I'm saying? But me, everybody come to me. So, if you say you want a CD cover done, then you want your video shot, then you need to record nine tracks for the album, then you need a Twitter picture, then you need a YouTube picture. Okay, that's one person. 
with like five knees, but you gotta multiply that by like 60, and the number is growing, it's continuously growing. We get a new client every week, so it's growing. So I need y'all niggas to be patient, like, be patient, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we restructuring everything. We gonna get everything right. There's gonna be late fees and all that shit, so even on my behalf, like, if I'm late starting a the session, then you get the shit free. You know what I mean? If 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 shit is late on my behalf, let's just keep it even. We gotta keep this shit rolling. We gotta get this shit going. Um, I don't know, man. Anybody that if you record somewhere else and you're loyal to your engineer, that's fine. Go spend the bread with him. But when you need that shit mixed down. You want that radio sound, you have to send it to us, man. There's, there's no other way around that shit. I will be posting videos of me actually mixing in action. And, you know, all kind of cool shit. Show y'all some shit. Make a beat here and there. Um, I will say this. The beat game has stepped up very, 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 very crazy. I started cultivating my own sound now, so it's a little, it's weird, it's different, it's still South, hard head drum, blah, blah, and um, I don't know y'all, November 1st, look forward to everybody putting that foot through the door, because we going, and even if I gotta be the leading man, my nigga, that's just what a nigga gotta do, and as far as the whole French Montana thing, Let me go ahead and speak on how I feel about that shit. And I'm not trying to start no shit with nobody now. I had no idea what was going on. Jack and Spade texted my phone and said, did you know? Or he said, did you send that pop that beat to French Montana? And I'm like, nah. I sent them beats before through my nigga Young Lowe's. Shout out to him. But nothing ever happened off of that. Um, and... You know, he just texted me and told me that nigga stole a lot of shit. So, of course, I'm mad, I'm pissed, I'm tweeting there. That's, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to entertain my fans. People love the bullshit, so why not post it? I post the bullshit. And, um, but, you know, I listen to people, I talk to people. Some people feel like Jack of Spade sold it. You know, but Jack and Spade told me he first heard it, got another person to remake it. You know, I even talked to the producer that made it, asked him when he sent him the beat and all this other shit, which sounded all legit until I actually searched the nigga, and he's actually a producer for DJ Khaled, like he's we the best, so it make more sense that a nigga would steal it or you know just make get your own producer to make it i thought it was like a, if it was a random nigga and you know he sent the beat to him i can understand that but due to the fact that Khaled is Khaled and french montana is who he is and their relationship is what it is it would only make sense to say yo we need this shit remade you know but um i can't even really be upset about nothing, you know what I mean? The song was doing what it was doing. It's Fresh Montana song now. But um, that just let me know I make hits. I'm a genius. So like I was saying, as an artist, you supposed to understand. You know the same. You know non exclusive release. Blah 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 blah. blah. However you want to put it, man. But I don't even feel no type sympathy or nothing and I don't even mean to be fucked up but that's that's not my problem yo like if you want it you gotta pay for that shit and that's just how it is man like y'all niggas that's f fucking retarded to me y'all can come in here with a sound click beat and record on it but you mad because one other person has a beat that I made that's backwards like that shit don't make no sense you might as well not record on sound click beats if you don't want nobody on the beats that you know what I mean so like I said man Shout out to the man upstairs for giving me this talent. Shout out to all the artists who come in here with the talent y'all got. VA, we got something. And we just need to make that shit known. Like, we need to really force feed this shit. Like, take over shit. Like, let's just take over shit. 
And I'm going to do my part. Hopefully, y'all do y'all part, man. It's Rick Riders, the hit maker. And I am out, this motherfucker. The number one source for the hottest music in the city.